What does Gordon Ramsay think is the most insulting thing someone can do in a kitchen? It's not yelling and cursing, we'll tell you that for free. Keep watching for the answer. Celebrity chef Gordon Ramsay has been in the culinary industry for a long time and is known for his exceptional skills in the kitchen. According to Insider, the chef was once the wealthiest celebrity chef in the world. A lot of this was on account of his flourishing television career. After all, he was part of several popular TV shows such as MasterChef and Hell's Kitchen. It also helped that he had scores of successful eateries in different parts of the world. That said, the highly opinionated Ramsay has not always escaped criticism in his own food career. For example, in October of 2021, he was called out for serving an incredibly expensive dish at one of his restaurants in London. The menu item in question? A $42 plate of fish and chips. The fish and peas were $33 and the chips were $9 more. An annoyed commentator wrote on Instagram that they could survive an entire week on that much money. But Ramsay doesn't think that's the worst insult a chef could get. So what is? According to Entertainment Weekly, Gordon Ramsay thinks that telling a lie is possibly the worst insult directed towards a chef. For him, it's upsetting when he comes across a contestant who doesn't tell the truth on a cooking show. Ramsay explained, When somebody lies to you, it's worse than working with somebody who can't cook. Basically, this is unacceptable behavior as far as Ramsay is concerned. Ramsay added, Because when you trust someone with your reputation and they cross that line, they want the food out of their sight and they tell you they finished it and you know they're lying. That's the worst. Ramsay also has another pet peeve. It's annoying for him when a cook gets their hands on a ridiculously expensive kitchen tool, such as a fancy knife, without knowing how to use it properly. Ramsay said, They also get a bit carried away with these flash materials. There's no point in buying the best knife if you can't slice correctly. Just to be clear, Chef Gordon Ramsay himself is known for coming up with some of the harshest food-related insults of all time on his TV shows. And you guessed it, he doesn't really believe in holding back when he's expressing feelings. In one particularly cutting insult from Hell's Kitchen, Ramsay calls two of his chefs donkeys. Those two, yeah, are cooking like donkeys. Talk about a hostile work environment. In another instance, he was required to try a new dish on Hell's Kitchen. Ramsay did not seem like he was very confident at all about the flavors when he said, For what we are about to eat, may the Lord make us truly not vomit. Need more? Here's one more example of an insult that he came up with. As a contestant struggled to prepare soup, Gordon Ramsay couldn't resist and shot back, Are we making soup or trying to summon a demon? To be fair, lots of people have mentioned that Gordon Ramsay can be tough to work with and is an intense chef. Shut it and watch. Shut it! According to Grub Street, chefs as well as food critics have noticed this and have made their feelings abundantly clear. British restaurateur Trevor Gulliver was not too impressed with Ramsay and once commented that if someone is relying on their antics on TV to run a restaurant and manage their staff members, there's a huge problem. Gulliver told the outlet, The shouty chef, I guess, will always exist, but Ramsay's approach is pretty much an anachronism these days. Also, French pastry chef Dominique Ansel pointed out that working under a chef who constantly shouts and insults his colleagues can be a bit too much for most people. Ansel told Grub Street, Swearing and shouting will only cause your cooks to become intimidated and affect the quality of their work and productivity. It's not like Ramsay himself has not taken note, though. He did think that his behavior was a bit too much on Kitchen Nightmares. He told The Guardian that he was not proud of the amount of times he swore and could feel himself getting tired of what he called the foul-mouthed bully chef. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more mashed videos about your favorite stuff are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.